Thorn, with the wonderful work that you do as well, we know that the number of uh, assisted suicides in Canada has risen to 10,000 this year. In your work, do you hear concern and are you aware of these, these circumstances actually taking place within our veterans community? And how is it impacting your work? Um, until this testimony today and, and the news story that came out in August, I think that medical assistance in dying was not on my radar as a significant um, uh, issue for the veterans that we are serving. I think this has been a serious wake up call. Suicide has been on our mind for the 10 years that we've been operating and for the 25 years almost that our program has been around. Um, again, it is the very, um, the worst possible outcome and, and we exist, our entire reason for existing is to try and stop that outcome. Um, so suicide has always been on our minds, um, but the possibility of suicide through medical assistance in dying for a mental health disorder, again, that we know to be treatable, we know that people can improve, is worrying. Absolutely. Um, I'm not qualified to speak about MAID holistically, okay. but certainly with our focus and the work that we do with veterans, we know that they can get better. And we've heard from many veterans who don't believe that they can get better. And then they do. They make progress. They're, the quality of life improves. And my fear is that we are offering a vehicle for people to end their lives when there are treatment options available, but those treatment op options are more difficult to access than medically assisted death. Thank you.